Thank you, Dan. New tonight, the Greenville County Sheriff's Office released 911 call and body camera footage from a deadly shooting we previously reported on several weeks ago. Our Lee Devlin breaks down the footage, but we want to warn you, this video may be disturbing to some viewers. Deputies say they received a call on September 28th claiming an armed man was threatening to hurt a woman. Deputies then responded to the scene and the newly released body cam footage captured what happened next. It was through surveillance video that deputies tracked down the suspect, 34-year-old Terrence Marie Sly, driving near Wade Hampton Boulevard. Deputies say they followed Sly to an address on Edwards Road and surrounded his vehicle. Body cam footage shows the suspect holding a gun and later firing at least one round at deputies. Greenville County deputies returned fire, killing Sly. The Greenville County Sheriff's Office says they're still investigating the incident. And these investigations may require our team of investigators to conduct multiple interviews, review audio and video recordings, and possibly analyze forensic evidence. Our office will not draw any conclusions about whether the deputies' actions were consistent with our policies and in accordance with the law until the investigation has been thoroughly completed. A week following the incident, Sly's family and upstate activist Bruce Wilson held a press conference requesting more information. The family says he was experiencing a mental health crisis and struggled with depression. They say they were trying to convince him to get help. I spoke to him several times that morning, and I knew that he was going through something. He knew what this. He wasn't trying to hurt anybody. He just wanted to help. The Greenville County Sheriff says SLED, along with the 13th Circuit Solicitor's Office, are conducting an extensive investigation to determine if the deputy's actions fail within the scope of law. In a separate and internal investigation, the Greenville County Sheriff's Office of Professional Standards looked into the incident to determine if the deputies' actions were consistent with their own guidelines. They say they've determined the four deputies' actions are justified. Elise Devlin, 7 News.